All right, guys, it's your boy Bahamas King with some hot breaking news, hot, hot. So yesterday, there was a guy came to PMH hospital and he had symptoms of COVID-19. Apparently, that's what the doctors and nurses told him. He got scared. He ran out of the examining room, ran down the hallway, made two lefts on the right, broke a window on the third floor, Jumped down off the third floor, made it down to the ground. There's some Hollywood stuff here, guys. Made it down to the ground. Made his escape. I'm talking about 10 police officers chasing behind him. And they couldn't catch this guy with COVID-19 symptoms. So I think uh, Bahamas Olympic Federation need to check him out after we catch him and got him cured. Because he, he, he's a runner. But anyhow, this Clint Watson, he was there afterwards and he got the whole briefing. Right now, I'm going to show this video. It is critical. We talked about uh, 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 spreading this in the communities. One of the stories that we're following tonight actually is uh, a, a patient who came, presented for health care to the Princess Margaret Hospital behind me. We're told he is a Haitian national. Um, he came here presenting symptoms that could possibly raise red flags. He had respiratory issues. Uh, doctors began to, to, to deal with him, and when they looked around, uh, we're being told by reports that he jumped out of the window at PMH and, and left. That raised a red flag for healthcare professionals here, who then notified police. And police at the various checkpoints were notified on their radios, first of all, to be careful with anybody that approaches them because they could be presented with symptoms. Um, and then secondly, they want to be able to get this patient back in. They were unfortunately not able to give him the test for COVID-19 to see whether he was indeed testing positive. He only presented respiratory symptoms. But before they could give him the actual test, we're being told that he fled. Now, why he fled, we don't know whether it's because of fear, whether because he may not have been uh, uh, regular, regulated and so he was afraid of being uh, detained. But well, for whatever reason, we're being told by professionals that he fled. And of course, the high alert was on to police to so be careful not to approach him closely because you don't know whether he would have been testing positive or not. Now, whether or not they were able to find him, we've not heard. Police have not updated us on this matter as yet. Uh, but the concern is to be able to find this gentleman and to be able to administer the test to ensure that he's not carrying around this deadly virus. Um, of course, we did reach out to Dr. Dwayne Sands, health minister, late this evening for a comment on this. However, he said he was in meetings all day and he was not made aware of this matter. He would check into it. Okay, guys, this is a very, very serious matter. So if you know this man who escaped, if you know who he is, call the police, call the health authority, get him back into the hospital to get tested to see if he has the COVID-19 or not, because you don't want somebody in the community that, that has it and spreading it. This window that you see here is believed to be the window that the guy made his escape from Princess Margaret Hospital. Broke the same window right here. It's believed to be. Not sure. But it is a picture of the Princess Margaret Hospital though. All right, guys, this, this video coming up here is a video that I saw that, that made me laugh. And it's a video about somebody coming home from shopping or work. And what they did was they hose her off and wash her off with soapy water and scrubbed her. So it's just a funny video that's showing there.
Okay guys, as you well know that we are under quite a few and people are still going out and getting locked up. These are a few people that got locked up the other day, breaking the 9 o'clock curfew and still are riding around in the streets. So police are locking them up at the checkpoints. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, next video is coming up. So stay tuned and watch that one as well. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. <laughs>